local sports from KTBO. Good evening, everybody. And girls high school basketball, Schuyler County hosted South Shelby. Schuyler County and White, the Rams work it around. And Wilson will finish in the paint. But the Rams were not finished. The pressure would pay off as Summer Small would eventually get the ball and score. Caitlin Poor would cash in from behind the line for the visitors. But Schuyler County wins it 49-41. The Fairfield girls started its season against Mid Prairie. Fairfield in white. Nice steal by Michaela Lunsford, who makes a great pass to Kylie Kurtz. Later on, nice teamwork. Kurtz would nail the long baseline three. Mid Prairie kept it close for a while with their inside play, but Fairfield would win it big. 63 to 42. In other girls games, Kirksville lost to Highland 69-37. It was Waukee 78. Atum with 31. Knox County crushed Canton 63-43. The Eagles had three players in double figures. It was Scotland County 65. Clark County 52. Marceline stopped Brookfield 45-41. Macon beat Cameron 44-26. And Van Buren got by Danville 38-33. The Milan Lady Wildcats taking on Novinger at home tonight. First quarter would be all Milan. This three by Kenna Michael would put the Wildcats out in front early. The Green would take a big lead into halftime. They would come into the second half on fire with this putback basket by Evelyn Castro to extend Milan's lead. But Novinger would get a little something going late with this nice drive by Lexi Baird. But it would be too late. Milan would run away with this one 58-35. Milan head coach Nathan Simler after the game. Tonight's win was a great win for us. Uh, we worked on a lot of little things, pushed the ball a lot, played a great defense tonight. Uh, a lot of little things we still got to fix going into the Novinger tournament, which will be a tough one. As for the boys, Novinger coming off a big win last night at home against Putnam County, hoping to keep that momentum against Milan, but early on it would be all green. A nice spin move by freshman Ryan Dabney would get things going, and Milan would get out to a 9-0 lead before Logan Tade would drain it from behind the arc to cut the lead into the second quarter. Mauricio Correll off the miss for two, and despite being a three-point game at half, Milan would get the dub tonight 60-36. In other boys' action, Kirksville beat Highland 40-24. Lane Kephart had 14 points and 12 rebounds. Now North Shelby got by Bevere 57-32. It was Knox County 72, Canton 52, Clark County stopped Scotland County 60-47, and May lost to Cameron 27-25. In college basketball, the Truman State men hosted Hannibal LaGrange. Truman State and White Billy Daniel would do the damage on the baseline. Unselfish play. Jack Green gets two points inside. The visitors kept it close early. Garland gets the steal and the quick two points, but that was about it. No assist needed by Dwight Sistrunk Jr. Truman State would win it 99-68. The Truman State women lost on the road to Missouri Southern 94-88. Rachel Edmondson had eight three-pointers and finished with 27 points. And Indian Hills beat Kirkwood 67-63. In high school bowling, Ottumwa hosted Mount Pleasant and Johnston. Ottumwa's Jackson Coble had a 223 in his first game. The Bulldogs, Tyler Crambilt, rolled a 199. Team-wise, Ottumwa won it and Mount Pleasant was Third. In girls' action, Atumwa's Davidson led the way with a 188. Team-wise, Atumwa was second, and Mount Pleasant was third. In swimming, Atumwa hosted Dowling. The Bulldogs' Jackson Wheaton is second in the 200 free. In the 100 butterfly, it's hammer time. Hank Hammer tops the field. You can see. In college football, you can see Missouri and Arkansas Friday at 1.30 on KTVO CBS. Iowa and Nebraska kicks off at 2.30 on KTVO ABC. And in hockey, the Blues won tonight. Trees is up next with final weather. Stay with us.